Hi, we're the Brew Dudes, and we got a great show for you today. Due to popular request on our website's poll, we're going to be tasting some Schwartz beers today. Schwartz in German means black, so these are very dark beers. Unlike uh, porters and stouts, these are fermented with a lager yeast, so they're bottom fermented. And they're usually brewed according to the German Reinheitsgebot, which was the German purity law stating beer can only be brewed using barley malts, hops, water, and yeast. So there's not usually a whole lot of variation in the style, but they're usually very good regardless. Yeah, so uh, first up we have the Samuel Adams Black Lager, and they're from Massachusetts. Uh, then we have the Kid Lager from the Fort Collins Brewery in Colorado. Then we have the Kostreitzer Schwartz Beer from Germany. Then the Monschhoff Schwartz Beer, also from Germany. So, first up, we have the Sam Adams Black Lager. A lot of roasted malts in the nose. Yeah, it smells very similar to a stout. I like it. Yeah, it's very roasty flavors, too. Good dark color on this beer. Um, very smooth. Very nice roasted uh, malt blended very well into the finish and a very smooth finish. Yeah, the finish is dry and very nice. A good medium mouthfeel. It's a, it's a good beer. Alright, next we have the Kid Lager from Fort Collins. Ooh, smoky and roasty nose. Very yeah, smoky. Very similar to a smoked porter on the nose here. Almost no head and uh, slightly lighter color than the uh, Sam Adams Black Lager. It actually tastes a lot like smoke porter too, with the same sort of mouthfeel to it. It's very smoky and roasty throughout. Yeah, it's I really nice. enjoy this beer. It's a big yeah. surprise for me. Um, you wouldn't expect a smoky porter taste in a Schwartz beer tasting, but this is a big surprise and I really like it. Yep. Now we have the Kostreitzer. A little sweeter nose on this one. Yeah, you don't get the same roasted malts that were in both the previous ones. And it's uh, it's about as, as dark a body as the Kid Lager and has a little bit more head. The roasty notes come out a little more in the taste, though. It's a bit roasty with some sweetness there. It's yeah, pretty much exactly what the style is. It's yeah, this is a good example of the style. It has a roasted uh, malt beginning, and then it, it kicks right in with the sweet uh, malts to finish. It's yeah. very, very nice. Yeah. Last but not least, the Monchoff. By far the lightest color, and uh, and probably the most frothy head. Yeah, and it's a lot sweeter on the nose too. Yeah, I don't pick up hardly any roasted malts on the nose here, unlike the first three. Hmm. It's kind of a funny mm. taste to it. It's got a weird malty base. Yeah, it's kind of got a, a, one of those really sweet malt um, beginnings, middle and end. Yeah, and um, not really much roastiness to it. And yeah. And as a result, it's not that complex. Um, I'm kind of disappointed in the, that beer. Anyway. All right. We're, we're going to go, go thumbs up, thumbs down. Me and you, sir. Um, for the same amount of black lager, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. I'm a sucker for roasted malts, and this beer has good roasted malts present all the way through. Finishes nice and dry, uh, leaves you wanting to drink more. Very sessionable beer. Perfect for the style, in my opinion. I think it's a very good beer, but I'm going to go with thumbs to the side. I mean, uh, aside from the roasted malts, there really isn't a lot there, but it's still very drinkable, and give it a try. It's worth trying. Um, the Kid Lager is a big surprise for me, and I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. It may be my favorite of the tasting, despite being somewhat out of style. Um, the complex smoke porter flavors that are in there, um, really, really nice. I like it. All right. I'm also going to give that one a thumbs up. I think it was my favorite of the group. It was very smoky for the style, but still, it was delicious, smooth, very drinkable. Excellent. Give it a try. Now we have the Coast Reitzer. Thumbs up for me. This is what, a, if you want to try a sports beer, that it tastes like it should. This is a beer to try. Um, it's a perfect representation of the style. Very drinkable, very sessionable, very good beer. Yeah, I'm also giving it a thumbs up. It is pretty much the ideal for the style. It's very smooth, it is a dark lager, and that's what it's meant to be, and it's very drinkable and good. Give it a try. Yeah. Now we have the Monchoff. I'm gonna give it a thumbs to the side, uh, but that's a really kind of almost thumbs down. Uh, this beer is sweet malt, and has very little else, and I like some more complexity. That said, I think it is a sessionable dark lager, so you kind of can't blame it for being an awful beer. Well, I'm going to give it a thumbs down, I think. It just didn't impress me in any way. All these other ones are just better. They taste better, more complex, but it's just simple, sweet, and not very good. 
Right. So thank you very much for watching. We're the Brew Dudes. Visit our website at www.thebrewdudes.com. We'll see you next time. Happy drinking.